Welcome to Acunetics Web Vulnerability Scanner. In this guide, I will show you how to scan your website, analyze the scan results, and create a report. All this can be accomplished very easily using Acunetics Web Vulnerability Scanner. There are two ways to start a scan using Acunetics. You can either enter the URL in the URL box, select the scanning profile to be used, and click Start. This can be used for fast scans. The second method is to use the scan wizard. This allows greater granularity in the scanning options. Let us see how to use the scan wizard in more detail. Start by clicking the new scan button located on the top left. This will open up the scan wizard. First, enter the URL of the website you wish to scan. In this case, I will scan a test site hosted by Acunetics. testphp.vulnweb.com Click Next when ready. Next, you should select a scanning profile. Scanning profiles are simple templates which include or exclude specific vulnerability tests. So, for instance, if you would like to only scan for cross-site scripting vulnerabilities, you would choose the XSS profile. However, for this demonstration, I will select the default profile, which includes all the vulnerability checks. You can fine-tune the scan settings, although the default settings can be used in most situations. Click Next to proceed. The wizard will then make an initial analysis of the website. At this stage, Acunetics will also try to identify the web technologies used by the site. Confirm the technologies detected, since Acunetics will exclude any vulnerability checks which are not relevant. This helps improve the scan performance and reduces the overall scan time. You will need to configure a login sequence if you would like Acunetics to scan a restricted area. Restricted areas are parts of the site which require the user login. To do this, I will record a new login sequence. In the first stage of the login sequence recorder, you will need to make sure the target URL is correct. Then you will need to browse to the login page of the site. Enter your credentials and log in the restricted area. The scanner will make use of the same login credentials during the scan. Click Next when ready. You will now need to define any restricted links. These links are buttons or hyperlinks which should not be followed during the scan. These include logout links and any other functionality links, such as delete user or send email. In this case, I am going to click the logout button, as I do not want Acunetics to log itself out during the scan. Acunetics requires a valid session in order to scan the restricted area. Because of this, Acunetics needs a way to identify if the session being used is still valid. The login sequence recorder can try to auto-detect the method which the scanner can use to validate the session. Click Yes to proceed. When a pattern is successfully detected, you can click the Close button. Click Next when ready. The login sequence recorder will present a summary of all the events that have been recorded. You can review the actions captured and add or delete using the plus or minus buttons at the top. Click Finish when ready. And you will be taken back to the scan wizard, with the new login sequence file automatically selected. In the final stage of the scan wizard, Acunetics will perform some additional checks and will ask you to confirm some site-specific settings. Click Finish to start the scan. Acunetics will first perform a crawl of the site and will identify all the pages, forms, and inputs on the site. All these will be tested for vulnerabilities by the scanner. Acunetics will then proceed with the security scan on the pages and inputs detected. You can review the progress of the scan by clicking on the Scan Thread node. The scan progress will be shown on the right. During the scan, Acunetics will display the vulnerabilities as they are being detected. You can start reviewing these while Acunetics completes the scan. Now that the scan is complete, let us have a closer look at some example vulnerabilities. The vulnerabilities detected are given a classification to indicate the severity of the vulnerability. This ranges from high to informational. Let us expand the cross-site scripting node and select the file or input where this has been detected. Acunetics will show the dynamics of the test performed to discover the flaw, including the HTTP headers exchanged during this test, additional attack details, and payload used. You can also perform manual checks with the inbuilt HTTP editor. In addition, 
Acunetics provides additional information on the vulnerability, remediation advice, and additional web references for each vulnerability. Apart from web vulnerabilities, Acunetics WVS also reports additional information detected during the scan. For example, you can review the email addresses found on the website. These can be harvested from the site for spam purposes. Another example is this list of internal IP addresses being publicly displayed. After analyzing the scan results, you can use the Acunetics Reporter to generate reports using one of the many compliance, technical, and management templates available. So let's go ahead and generate a PCI compliance report. From the list of report templates, I will select Compliance Report and launch the report wizard. I can now select PCI version 3.0. Then I will choose today's scan and fire off the report generator. You can also generate highly detailed reports for developers to fix vulnerabilities or an executive report to provide to management. This brings us to the end of this guide. Remember that you can review the user manual which you can download from our site at www.acunetics.com. Our support team is also available to answer your queries and can be reached by email at support at acunetics.com.